Off to Billy in the Sheds as the Storm celebrates. Here in the winning sheds of the Melbourne Storm, got new recruit Sean Bloor. Sean, you only just come down to Melbourne late in the pre-season. How are you finding your time down here? Uh, it's been awesome. I uh, love Melbourne. Uh, the boys have been great. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a weird six months for me. I've done half pre-season at Tigers, half pre-season with Melbourne. And, but the boys have been great regardless, man. And this place is, like, I, I just love it so much. It's, the energy, it's electric too. Like, Amy Parker's on fire tonight. So, loving my life in Melbourne so far. Well, it was your first game here at Amy Park. Also your first game alongside Cameron Munster. Uh, play on the same side of the field. Are you excited about that combination progressing? Yeah, yeah. I was, um, it was funny before the game. I was very nervous. Uh, playing outside someone like uh, Munster, just because he's, he's, he's done it all in the league. He's played for his uh, country. He's played for his state. So, and um, like I'm, just a, I'm just a young kid coming from Tigers. So there's a lot of, I felt a lot of expectation on me. But... Um, I thought today we were great. We, we, I thought we were asking some questions. And we all thought we were pretty unlucky not to score some tries. And I'm excited to see where that combination goes. And uh, fingers crossed I get to hold the spot and, and I keep building that combo of money. Oh, it's been a great start. Well done and enjoy it. All right, we'll go over who we got here. We've we'll, got we'll Cameron Munster here. Nah, we'll, uh, let's go and talk to uh, Nick Meany. Means. Well done. So, Tyron Wishart scores, levels it up, and you have to put the team in front. How do you, how do you feel that pressure, and how do you find sitting in that situation when everyone's looking at you to put the team in front? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I definitely felt it. Um, you know, it's a big kick to make, and especially those easy ones, like the ones you should make, yeah, but sometimes they can be hard ones. Uh, but, yeah, I just try to mentally put myself on the training paddock, out of goshes, just everyday kick, and uh, just go through my routine and uh, do what I do. Been incredible over the last year and a half playing fullback. New season, new position. How are you finding the centres? Yeah, it's good. I um, always like learning new things, um, new things about the game, but obviously it's got its challenges. Got to make some tackles now, use the shoulders, uh, but still learning how to, you know, what Doozy likes to do and then what, what Warwick likes to do as well. So, um, yeah, working with the team and the line, so, and just got to make my tackles. Use your shoulders. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> go and enjoy, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go and see if we can find Josh King. Here he is. Look at him. Kingy. Hello, Slats. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How'd you find that one? What did the coach have to say after that game? Yeah, a bit of a weird one. Um, we're sort of up and down a lot, and obviously the, the Bronx have such a quality side that can pull something out of nothing really easily, and you see that tonight. Um, Ezra did it a few times against yeah. us, so um, we're lucky to get away with it, but obviously we're, we're happy with the two points, but a few things to look at. When you're sitting behind the try line after Ezra Mam scores that try in the second half, you go behind on the scoreboard. What, 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 what's said behind there? I think it's just getting back to our footy, our brand of footy that we, we know we can play, that we practice all pre-season. You know, it's trying to flip that momentum. It obviously they've scored and they've got a bit of momentum. So it's getting back into our processes, getting back into our cycle and um, trying to wrestle it back a little bit. All right. I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you, mate. Cheers. All right. Back to you, James. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And, of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Owner. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.